meteorologist Ethan Houston. Clouds are starting to billow up across the Susquehanna Valley. Here's a live look right now over Carlisle. You can see the clouds there in the distance, but still plenty of sunshine is breaking through. Currently, right now, we are at 68 degrees, and dew points are sitting down in the 40s. It is going to be a comfortable day today, just a touch warmer than the past couple of days, but it will remain below seasonal averages, will remain dry until later this evening. Here's on Super Doppler 8, quiet weather across the Commonwealth, but off to our west is that line of showers and a few thunderstorms that will be moving into Pennsylvania while you sleep later tonight. Here is your News 8 Storm Team forecast for the day today. Looking at Landisburg and Berry County in the background. Look for highs to top above 70 degrees. Haven't done that in the past two days in some spots across the area. Overnight lows tonight drop into the mid 50s, and this is when we'll have the chance for a few scattered showers. Then heading in tomorrow morning, there could be a shower early, and then the skies will clear from west east, making for a nice afternoon with highs returning to the low to mid 70s. Your weather and health for today the pollen count is low. Air quality, eh, it's moderate. It's starting to stir things up a bit in the UV index at a six. Burn time is now at 35 minutes. Look at the lows that we had this morning. It was 43 this morning in Lebanon. If you're watching us in Lancaster, it was 44, 42 in York, 50. Uh, in Harrisburg. Right now, it's 66 in Harrisburg, 68 currently in Carlisle, and 64 currently in Chambersburg. So, high pressure kept things quite cool this morning. That is now moving over toward the eastern shore off of Jersey. And as we see that high depart, that's going to allow the winds to slowly switch direction, turn out of the southwest. And what moisture is available will give way to some passing showers as our next cold front moves on through later tonight. You saw the rain off to the west could be wet for the Eagles taking on the Colts, but it is a dome. Temperatures will be in the 60s at the start of the game and dropping into the 50s. So slowly but surely, this cold front is moving to the southeast, but it will start to pick up its pace as it moves closer to Pennsylvania. So here we are in the predictor, taking you hour by hour. You can see the clouds continue to thicken up. I do expect sunshine mixed with clouds for the rest of the day, but late tonight we'll have overcast conditions, and then the rain will move in late. I'd say after midnight and through about six o'clock will be the best chance for these hit and miss showers. Then the skies will clear heading into Tuesday. Afternoon will be breezy tomorrow, but I do expect sunshine late in the afternoon, so our highs should still be back up to near 70 to 75 degrees. High pressure then controls our weather, keeping us dry and cool for the rest of the work week. So here is a look at what we're talking about with the chances of some isolated showers. Not much. The best chance for the rain will be off in northern portions of Pennsylvania. Erie and Bradford picking up the most, anywhere from about, I'd say, a tenth of an inch to maybe two tenths of an inch in some heavier spots. For the Gratz Fair, not too bad. Temperatures mostly sunny today. The clouds will start to increase late in the day. Average high for this time of the year is right around 76. Notice we stay below that as we head on in through the rest of the week. Once we get rid of the early chances for some showers for early tomorrow, looks to be a dry and comfortable, but a little on the cool side for the yeah, rest of the week. Yeah, it definitely is. Pretty mm -hmm. out there though yes. today. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Ethan.